What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie, this is Hero War Central, and in this video, I'm gonna show you all how to defeat a double tank, double healer team that is significantly stronger than yours. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? In our guild war on Saturday to maintain our position in the Silver League, we went up against the Relentless Guild on server 25 on Hero Wars Facebook, and I was pitted up against uh, Neil and Danimal. Now, I did lose to Danimal. Kark teams typically lose to Kira teams, especially when they're over 800k like that. Very solid team there, Danimal. But Neil had a team that was about 200k stronger than mine whenever I went into it with my weaker heroes, which I'll show you in just a second. And the reason why I made the choices that I did was to illustrate how certain heroes, even if they're pretty weak, can still overcome a pretty dominant defending lineup. Now, this defending team had two issues that I needed to take care of. First of all, there was a cleaver. And anytime I see a cleaver and I have an opportunity to sub Dorian in, I usually do it and I'll talk about why in just a second. But additionally, this team had double tank, double healer. Celeste on defense is not amazing. You can't count on her for damage and you can't count on her for healing because she's going to continually toggle back and forth between the two forms that she has, dark form and light form. And if you're curious about, you know, how all of that works, I recently did a video just a day or two ago about using Celeste in manual mode and how important that is. And I'm going to use that similarly in this fight right here with my weak Celeste. So double tank, double healer, using Ching Mao was kind of the, I don't know, blinding the enemy, trying to reduce the armor of the enemy tank, all of that. And before I get into the fight, I just kind of wanted to show you where my Celeste is at. Of course, all my skills are maxed out and I am a max level Celeste here, but I don't have much in the way of skins and I certainly don't have that much in the way of glyphs, including the all important magic penetration glyph, low health, low magic attack, low intelligence. My gift of the elements is maxed out because I've been playing for a very long time. So, you know, this is one of the easier things to max out on a hero. And I do have 100 artifacts across the board, but not at absolute star. Again, because I've been playing so long, I've got a lot of artifact components. I've been paying for Valkyrie's favor for like three three years and three months at this point, so it's kind of uh, that's kind of disgusting when I say that out loud. But an almost 60k Celeste is going to help me counter the extra healing and the extra tankiness of that enemy lineup. And then to counter that Cleaver, you use Dorian because what happens is Cleaver is going to hook the rearmost ally on your team and pull them forward and my Dorian even though he's at like 33,000 power level his vampirism aura whenever he's at the front line will encompass a lot of my team such as my tanks my primary damage dealer Kark and of course helping keep my Celeste alive which I'm using to kind of counter all that extra bonus healing and then it just becomes a matter of how can I do enough damage to overcome those two thick tanks and to break through all of that that bonus healing but when it really came down to it i was able to you know successfully defeat this team uh, congratulations to Neil and Relentless for making it into relegation on Saturday, but you did not quite defeat our guild. Uh, better luck next week, maybe, uh, if we uh, if we end up facing you again for that final spot in Silver League. So as you can see, the fight kind of progresses as normal. Faceless pushing back Cleaver, and there you go. Cleaver hooking Dorian forward puts Dorian in such a far up position that as my heroes kind of reposition, my Kark, my Astaroth, and my Celeste are all three in that Vampirism aura. Unfortunately, my Faceless is kind of hung out to dry back here while uh, Faceless beats on him, but I'm able to push him back with my uh, with my Faceless. While well, Luther beats on him, I should say. And then, uh, and then Faceless kind of resets him. Faceless is the only one that's outside of the range of that Vampirism aura, but ultimately Cleaver is going to hook again. And now all of my four remaining heroes have 115% Vampirism for the rest of the fight because Dorian's Vampirism aura persists whether or not he's alive or dead. And then it's just a matter of keeping my team alive while I slowly chew through the enemy lineup. Now I am fighting through double armor there and I don't do much damage with my Kark, but that's okay. The amount of damage that my Kark is taking uh, and I copied him with Faceless. I'm able to you know, take out that Ching Mao. So no more blinds, no more armor reduction on my tank. And now my Kark is just gonna roll. There goes that uh, enemy Thea. Of course, there's no healers left. All I have to do now is make it through these two thick tanks. You got armor artifacts going crazy, but since I'm not letting them use their ults, uh, my Faceless is kind of free to copy my Kark as often as he wants. And uh, kind of, there we go. Let's just finish up this Cleave Daddy here. I think we actually, 
No, we didn't close the timing out at all. There you have it. If you are up against a double healer lineup, then one of the best strategies that you can do is use a Celeste, keeping that Cursed Flame effect on the enemy team as much as possible. With a weak Dorian, it's a very nice counter to Cleaver. A soft counter, if you will. Not really a hard counter. If you're interested in a good fight where manual mode is super important, especially with the use of Celeste and Faceless, check out the video that I have on screen now against another very strong opponent with the right teams and the right knowledge of your hero's skills you can easily defeat teams that are 200 300k higher power level than yours i love you all good luck in dominion